Hello everyone, Nick here again today for another walkthrough of the week. We're down here in Southern Connecticut, down by the shoreline at another one of my brokerage's foreclosure assets. I'm gonna be visiting this property today, as per usual, first time in since the property's been trashed out. I'm gonna do a quick walk around. I just wanna check the backyard um, to see, oh yeah, it looks like they did. This place was extremely overgrown. Um, no real good way to get back there through the outside, so we're gonna go through the inside. Oh, that's a massive tree. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it's out here. So we'll start on the outside, per usual. Um, down here, like I said, down by the shoreline in Connecticut. So um, this one's going to be a little funky. You'll see when we get inside. Some odd angles, a spiral staircase. But uh, it's definitely an interesting property. One thing I'd like to no note about the lot, we're right on a corner. I mean, ex literally exactly on a corner. You see the uh, driveway leading out to the uh, four-way intersection here. So pretty interesting there. And first things first, roof definitely seen some better days. Bunch of moss and growth on it. Just gonna take a peek right back here because again, this was all overgrown. So there wasn't too much access. We're gonna go through the back, but okay. At least get to see what's going on back here a little bit. All right, not too bad. Get inside here. Alrighty, this little patio, it's in decent shape here. I mean, other than the roof and some power washing, I'm not seeing too much really going on on the outside here. Definitely need some landscaping for sure, but that's uh, that's pretty standard for a lot of these homes. Come right in through the entryway here, a little mud room, and right into our kitchen. Um, hope they like 45 degree angles, any of the buyers looking to purchase this one. The fireplace is pretty cool. Go ahead and walk around them. This is definitely a, definitely a bit of a funky, I mean, just right off the rip. Not much room to get in. And just a funky layout for sure. Get a good picture, get an idea of it here. Pretty cool, I mean, I don't know if this was maybe used as a actual cooking apparatus at some point, maybe not. Ah, maybe. That looks like it could be a little bit after the fact here. That's where the fridge was. That looks like dust, not mold. Just coming in again, a little bit of a funky, uh, funky function functionality here, for sure. Um, Cause where would the stove even go? Oh, right here, I guess. Yeah, this would be tight. All right, so it's a little bit of a tight area. So maybe maybe rework this kitchen for sure. This forty five is killing me. I don't know why they would do this. So maybe maybe redo the kitchen. You got some beautiful pink carpet in here, straight out of nineteen eighty two. And this is like some type of wallpaper with a uh, texture on it, like a uh, wicker wicker texture. Some water, some water intrusion, some damage, not too bad. Again, taking a look. Spiral staircase, obviously pretty cool, but just because I think it's cool doesn't mean the potential buyers will. Another little entryway here, nothing too crazy going on. Go ahead and turn around. Fireplace is pretty cool. This angle's killing me, but. Still a pretty pretty nice setup. Huge windows, little walkout looking over the uh, the back of the uh, property here. This is pretty cool. Getting plenty of natural light too. And here a little little side room. Maybe a bed, bedroom here. Okay, some more. That's gotta be the yeah the back side. All right. It is. Uh, looks like it's electric baseboard. Take a look at the. Uh, the bathroom here, nothing, nothing too fancy. Mirror is gone. Okay. Again, electric baseboard. Uh, easiest way to tell is there's no real covers on it, um, so there's no plumbing. You don't see anything coming out the sides here. I know some some people they just see the uh, the actual baseboard and just assume it's you know gas or oil or whatever, but that's not always uh, not always the case. Want to keep that in mind. Three-pronged outlets, all right. So the electric's been updated. Very, this is actually a very wide spiral staircase. Usually the issue with spiral staircases is that they're very narrow. And you know, I'm, I, like, you know, I'm not a big guy. I'm six foot, 180 pounds. And sometimes I've had issue getting up a few of them just cause like, you know, your shoulder hits it or you're bumping into it. This one's pretty wide. So functionally, it's not too bad. The thing that's killing me about this house is just some of the angles. I mean, this little, little corner here for the toilet. They got this at it, they got the sink at an angle. I mean, they're, they're taking advantage of the space they have, but 
would drive me nuts. This tile work is actually pretty good. All right, silver linings. Silver linings coming through. I mean, these doors look um, original. It's got the, uh, you got you to pay extra to get this stuff these days. The ornate, uh, the ornate knobs here. Another nice sized bedroom. I mean, you get a little balcony here. They, they, you know, for what it was, that there was definitely some thought put into this property. You know, they're working with the angles, which I don't necessarily love. Take a quick look out. Step out into the balcony. Test step. All right, I don't think I'm gonna step on that, but again, just getting paint and painting the view, paint the picture. All right, so the driveway actually looks like it wraps around. That was completely covered and overgrown. So I'm gonna have to check that out. I have not looked at the driveway yet or really gotten back there. Um, this is probably the master bedroom. A little homeowner special right there, to be expected. Little closet area, some more built-in closets. Nice clawfoot tub. That's beautiful. Get the uh, design on the bottom. All right, I mean, the bathroom's not bad. This is pretty... I mean, you know, new vanity and whatnot, but overall not too bad. Obviously, going with the tub here because the headroom's a little a little tight. I'd probably put these ceilings at seven feet. Um, in the bathroom here, maybe about eight in the in the bedrooms. Again, same thing. Look at this carpet. As much as I hate this, you know, I'm not a fan of the style, but I'll, I'll at least say it does like it is like tied together. It does kind of match, lack of better phrasing. Interesting paneling on the wall here. Some type of uh, hard plastic. I've haven't seen that before. And we'll go into the final bedroom here. Good size bedroom. Nice, nice tall headroom. Hello. See me in there. Not too bad. And the lower windows, not too bad. Some of the uh, some of these windows have been replaced. These are the old original ones. You can see we got still got the uh, the drawstring pulleys. Wallpaper starting to go on the ceiling a little bit But again pretty typical of these properties a lot of deferred maintenance again They didn't have the money to make the mortgage payment. They probably didn't have the money to maintain the property Go ahead and come down the spiral staircase here. We'll go right into the uh, into the basement finished basement area Not too much going on down here. It looks like they had some water intrusion at some point um, Stairs do narrow out a little bit going down here, but same thing and still a lot of room and the actual like turning isn't bad. All right, we'll come in a little little finished basement area. Again, that uh, smells pretty musty down here. A little bit of mold on uh, some of the lower areas of the property, but not too bad. Power is off. Again, still got the uh, the, the wood windows down here, but this could absolutely be used utilized as a living space with the uh, fireplace, the carpet, a little utility room, probably the washroom. Yep, washer dryer, laundry area. This is awesome. Just having a designated area for this is huge um you know again no furnace because it was electric heat and i believe this room is a bathroom it is so jen again just nothing nothing too crazy you know standard reo basement bathroom nothing going nothing too fancy going on there um let's do a quick just make sure i don't need anything in here i'm pretty sure this was just like a little workshop room the power is off here, so bear with me. All right, probably not going to be able to see too much in here, but it was just like a little workshop room. So I got the tables up, a little bit of mold, and this was just a storage room back here. Just going to get back here. All right, so they left a few of the shelving, but not too bad. And again, just, you know, it's an, it's an older house by the Connecticut shoreline. A lot of them have the, uh, so I'll show you over here where there's some light. A lot of them have this stone stone foundation. They basically just took a bunch of rocks, put a bunch of mortar, and said, hey, here's your foundation. You see that in you see that in Connecticut, Massachusetts, on a lot of the older homes. I think this uh, I think this house was built in like the 1910s, if I recall correctly, somewhere around then, the teens. So just to keep that in mind, you know, obviously keeping the aesthetic throughout the uh, the fireplaces and whatnot. We'll go ahead and go outside. A little patio area here. Check this out, because again, this was all overgrown. You couldn't even open this door. So good job on the team getting out here and actually giving us some room to move around. Uh, patio's honestly not too bad and you're seeing some more of the uh, the exterior of the foundation i mean it looks great but obviously you know it can present some issues it's not as tight um you know as, as just a pure concrete foundation would be take a little peek this way because it looks like there's some walkways 
Okay. Yeah, so two driveways at this property. So now we know because this was just completely overgrown. Okay. All right, so actually this ain't bad. You pull you pull in. This is where you can do your main parking and you just come right in through the uh, the basement. That ain't too bad. Little, little storage shed. Get a little bit of view of the back side of the property. I think with some landscaping, this would come out really nice. Because we are pretty close uh, to the water here. We're walking distance to uh, one of the harbors. But overall, overall not too bad. Get this on the market. Hopefully get this out of inventory sooner than later. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up for this property. Appreciate everyone watching. Again, like, subscribe. We're going to be doing these on a weekly basis moving forward. Till next time, Nick signing off.